Yo, what is up guys? Methods here bring you guys a brand new domination. video. I'm sure we're playing some Octane Domination. This is actually a live commentary. This is supposed to be a video log, but unfortunately my webcam or OBS was messing up, so that sort of fell through. And as you can tell by the title, uh, we'll be discussing, you know, why I was released from FaZe and UMG Philadelphia. Security so, as you guys know, um, going to UMG Philadelphia, my team was myself, Replays, JCap, and Classic, all representing FaZe Competitive. You know, we had a, about a, three weeks to a month worth of practice, so we were, you know, pretty prepared. Not too well prepared, but, you know, we were, we were really dominant in Search and Destroy. Our Blitz was iffy, and our domination was inconsistent going into the event. So, you know, we were sort of, um, not really nervous, but we were sort of iffy on how we'll do in our respawns. But we were really confident in our Search and Destroy. And we actually ended up placing 8th at the event, 7th slash 8th. We really didn't play a constellation match, so I really can't say we placed 7th, we placed 8th. You know, it's just something that... 7 slash 8th is what I'll tell you guys. So, um, you know, starting off on the, with the tournament, we started off versus Optic Gaming. We actually ended up defeating them 3-2. Actually, they went up 3... No, 3. They went up 2-0 in the series off the start, and we brought it back and won 3-2, 6-5 last map. So, really good game for them. That was a really awesome series to watch and play, and I'm, ho I'm hoping you guys watched it and enjoyed it. Um, so we played them, then the next morning, we were, uh, not the next morning, the next night, I think we started at like 12 a.m. or something like that, we played Complexity, we actually went up 2-0 in the series, and they actually ended up coming back and winning 3-2 in the series, they won 6-5 last map, uh, we were actually up 5-4 last map, we let them bring it back and win 6-5, we let Krim drop like 15, and you know, we pretty much beat ourselves, so you know, we really weren't too happy about that, obviously, we were actually pretty pissed off that whole night, but... You know, we weren't going to let that affect us in the tournament. So we came back the next morning, and we played Team Batty, uh, or Team Batside, whatever, however you call it. And they were actually a Search and Destroy team, uh, really good Search and Destroy players from Game Battles. They actually came to UMG Philly. They were a pretty good respawn team. They won the first map versus us, uh, which is Domination, which is pretty scary. Then we sort of kicked up and uh, started beating them. We actually beat them 3-1 in the series. Replays was actually sick all of Sunday. As soon as he woke up, he was throwing up. He threw up like four times in between our in between our maps Enemy of our spotted. first game versus Batty. So and we played with like our vocal leader, so that was pretty unfortunate. Losing then later up. in the day, uh, J Cap actually ended up getting sick. So even if we beat TK, I didn't see us doing much more with our two players. You know that sick. They, they were they were hurling. You know they they just really didn't feel good at all. So um, we actually ended up losing to TK. We went up 2-1 in the series versus them. They brought it back and won 3-2, 6-4 last map. And uh, obviously really depressing losses. You know, the last thing you want to do is lose in that close of a game. Obviously you want some nice matches, but, you know, to be honest, I'd rather lose 6 nothing in a search than lose 6-5 just because, you know, just knowing I was that close and we, we beat ourselves and we screwed up, you know, it's really frustrating to me and, and as well as my teammates. But we ended up placing 8. Um, we lost to the first and second place teams and pretty much by like a... A small little hair so you know obviously we were mad but we really couldn't be too upset with ourselves month of practice and we lost to eight time champions and team caliber so um you know we we're pretty happy with our performance and you know we thought we were gonna stick together we were thinking you know we played really well um cod champs wasn't announced yet so we have no problems now until yesterday um basically there was rumors that cod champs were about to be announced and it was going to be 18 plus and as you guys know i'm 16 uh, before I joined FaZe, we made it aware to each other that I was 16 and that it would probably be an issue down the road, but our plan was to get a, a fill-in. Um, but, you know, after the team thought about it, you know, they thought, you know, it's, it's better for us to just pick up a new teammate and practice with him the whole time, all the way up to championships. It's the biggest tournament, you know, which is totally understandable. Obviously, I was a little ticked off and upset just due to the fact that, you know, I was let go. Um, you know, I wasn't mad at them due to the reason. I was sort of mad at the system more so than them. Just because, to be honest, I would have made the same decision if I were them. They're actually team with Embos now. And to be honest, if I, if I had to choose one player I wanted to join that team in place of me, it was definitely one, you know, one of my best friends, Marcus, or Embos, as you guys know him. But, you know, going on, so I was released due to age after placing 8th. Um, you know, it sucked. You know, things happen, and, you know, I can only move forward from now. I made some pretty emotional tweets, such as, you know, why do I bother playing anymore? I was dropped through the day I was born. And those were out of frustration. I'm not quitting, guys. And, you know, I want to thank all of you real quick. Just sort of for sticking with me through the journey that I've been through. You know, I'm only 16. And to have you guys as supporters, it's crazy to think about it. Um, you know, I've had more success than most players. I have a bigger fan base than most players. And, you know, it's pretty awesome to think about it. And I can only, I can only think about great things in the future. 
And, uh, you know, to be honest, with me no longer being a part of a team as of now, um, you know, that means a lot more videos, a lot more streaming time, a lot more interacting with you guys. So, you know, Securing that's pretty Charlie. much my main goal right now is to sort of get in touch with my fan base a little more, start the YouTube grind back up, start the Twitch grind back up. And, you know, me being released from phase is not going to stop any of that. You know, just because I'm not in a team anymore does not mean I'm going to, you know, stop streaming, uh, streaming, stop making YouTube videos, things of that sort. And uh, basically, right now I'm a free agent. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Obviously, if you guys, you know, follow the competitive scene, you'll know players like myself, Heist, Spacely, Slack. Um, you know, we're all free agents due to us being young. Uh, a player like Huddle, Gu uh, not Gucci, Chino, Nifty, all free agents. So I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, everybody wants us to make a, sort of like a young team. But to be honest, I may just wait until COD Champs is over to make any roster sort of decisions. <clears throat> due to the fact that after Champs, um, you know, most teams won't be caring about age due to the fact that Gfinity will most likely be 16 and over because the game is sold at age 16 there. And, you know, that's what's been rumored. People have been saying that the Gfinity guys have been saying that. So that would be awesome if I could attend some Gfinity events, you know, across the pond, wherever they may be, London, I mean, wherever they are. So I don't think age will be an issue after Call of Duty Championships until next year, of course. Since they did switch it back to 18 plus, they actually announced Call of Duty Championships today. Um, March 28th to the 30th. I'm actually going to have a whole separate video about that, most likely tomorrow or the next day, about, you know, what my thoughts on it are, the qualifier, you know, how it's working, the eight teams from the U.S. being, you know, allowed to play, and, you know, I'll make a whole new video about that, explaining everything, sort of in, a, in more depth. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, the, the bits of it. I was dropped from phase due to age. There's actually no other reason. I mean, we all thought we were a really good team, and, you know, we didn't want to make a roster change, but, um, like I said, I, I would have made the same decision. Um, I don't blame them for doing it. Obviously, I was upset just due to the fact that, you know, my age is something that is prohibiting me from playing in a million-dollar tournament for the second year in a row. Um, you know, last year I had to deal with it with my sore team, you know, watching my teammates play without me. And, you know, it, it really does suck. Um, you know, a lot of you guys tweeted me saying, you know, why are you crying? You know, you are in a better position than a lot of us. And the truth is, I'm not really crying. Trust me, I, I know I'm in such a good position, and I'm very grateful for that. But still, the fact that I won't be able to compete in these big tournaments due to my age, it's pretty frustrating. And I don't think you guys understand it unless you're in my position, you know, watching your teammates or your former teammates play without you because of the year you were born. And, you know, I'm going to stop rambling about that. You know, what ha what is life? Well, you know, what happened happened. You know, I was released. Good luck to them. There was no hard feelings. There's no bad blood. Um, I understand completely. They're all my really good friends. We all played really well. And I was good. I had the opportunity when I did. But now they move on. See what I can do. Um, I, you know, like I said, I'm not going to rush into things. You know, if, if an offer comes up that's really good, I'll probably take it. But, you know, there's no point at this point just to rush into something and team with players that I really don't want to team with. You know, I'm not going to team with anybody just because of our age, if that makes sense. Um, you know, everybody tweeting me saying you should team with these players because they're young. If I team with those players, it's because of their skill, um, not because of their young. Obviously, them being young benefits me because they're also young like me. We can, you know, grow up sort of in the community together. But I'm not going to make a decision. You know, I'm not going to team with somebody I don't want to team with just because they're my age. And I hope you guys understand that. But, um, you know, that's pretty much that for phase. Um, you know, Embos, good luck, man. You guys should be solid. Your S&D will be phenomenal. I know that. And... You know, I'm, I'm happy for them. I'm proud that Embos took my spot. Like I said, if there's one player I wanted on that team over me uh, to replace me, it's definitely Embos. So, you know, that's enough of that. Good luck to them. Uh, it's not going to stop me in anything. Um, shout out to Seabass, Apex, and Temper for the opportunity again after I ruined it the first time by, uh, you know, being immature about things after I was released back in June or August, whatever that was. So, uh, you know, UMG Philly was great. You know, placing eighth, um, you know, obviously... I've had better placings. I placed second at the last UMG I attended, so um, we didn't do as well as that. But you know, the teams we lost to, really respectable, top-notch teams. So um, you know, nothing, nothing to be ashamed of. And you know, I'm hoping I will find a team soon. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna rush into things, but I'd rather have a team for like the 2K series, the four, uh, the 5K series, and you know, GB tournaments. Just so you know, we're sort of all familiar with each other. I don't have to go into each tournament with a pickup team. Uh, you know, maybe just even like a, a tournament team that just plays online tournaments together. To be honest, I don't even know. But this game was coming to an end. Uh, I think I went 38 and 14. Obviously not the greatest, like I've told you guys many times. When I do commentaries, I sort of focus on the 
the commentary more than the gameplay. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys all continue to support me with or without FaZe. Um, you know, you guys are the reason I do this. I don't get any money from Twitch, any money from YouTube. And if I do, it's very minimal. So, um, you know, thank you guys for watching yet again. And, you know, hope to see you guys tomorrow on the next video. And uh, peace out.